Good morning to you from me, a bunch of cows, and, and my me. dad, and me. And me. You, you took that much further than I did. <laughs> and that's, I've not even intro the vlog, but that's just reminding me of my first ever joke. Do you remember yeah. it? Yes. What do you get if you cross a cow with a lawnmower? A, a lawnmower. lawnmower. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to uh, a vlog. I think there were three. Yeah, I've been a comedy genius <laughs> since the very beginning. Yeah. Can't help it. Um, we're going to Chelsea Flower Show today, so I thought I would vlog it. I thought that'd be nice. I'm getting back into the swing of making a few more vlogs. I'm also on my camera, so hopefully this is slightly better quality than um, my little quickie phone videos. Um, and my plan is, I don't want anyone to fall off their perch here, to edit this and upload this within 24 hours. How do you like them apples? A little look at central London for you today. Oh, look at that display outside Joe Malone. That's a bit nice. This is Sloan Terrace. We're on, oh, hello. For the Jubilee, the Jubilee. Lovely Jubilee. Lovely Jubilee. Lovely Jubilee. Yeah. Lou, 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 Look, all the shops are doing something. Oh, I can't think of the Instagram opportunities. I've just got a little bit excited because what if there's floral, Car jubilee. Car oh, yeah. I'll show them that in a second. What if there's floral, jubilee, Instagram opportunities there today? Surely, surely there will be. Um, if that's not in the thumbnail, I don't know what it is, but there's Cartier. Very nice. Oh yeah, you get that shot, get that shot. What else have we got? We've been there, haven't we, Dad? Years ago, we went to that one. Uh, yes. When I went to that Mac event when I was pregnant with Darcy. That's right, yes. That was our first social That's, media, well that was yeah, your was, first social yeah. media yeah. event. I'll swizzle around for this. So I was, oh, a bit, a bit zoom. So I was pregnant with Darcy, that's how long, 11 years ago, and Mac invited me to this breakfast experience. Um, at London Fashion Week. So I rock up to London Fashion Week in my mother care maternity jeans and a t-shirt from H&M. Couldn't look less London Fashion Week if I tried. I was very pregnant, like eight months pregnant. And they gave me a goodie bag at the end. And I was so excited for this goodie bag. With It was when they did the Wonder Woman collection. Does anyone remember that? It was like red and yellow and blue. And then dad waited in coat because he very kindly drove me down, didn't you? Because I, did. I was a bit too yes. pregnant to be doing well, big train journeys. Well, I probably wasn't too pregnant, but I didn't want to, but there we are. Um, I was worried I might pop on the train. And then you waited in there, and then we looked through the goodie bag together, and you're like, wow, this is so yeah. cool. Do you still think that this, all the social media yeah, stuff is so cool? Down here. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant the real queen then. I'll yeah. show her in a minute. Dad, do you still think all the social media stuff is so cool? Oh, I do, yeah. Yeah, I love it. You love it. You're like the biggest fan of it all. I think I am. Here we go. Right, here's the Queen. There she We've is. arrived. We've got our passes. Dad's just getting getting your big camera out. Yes, I am. Getting his camera out again. And I'll show you around. This is the Blue Peter Garden. Don't treat soil like dirt. Slogan over there. I don't know what any of these plants are. <laughs> I'm trying to sound knowledgeable. I've got absolutely no idea, but <laughs> they're nice, aren't they? Do you know what any of these are? Yes. Oh, good. What are they then? Uh, that's a, a lupin. Lovely. Professor Lupin. A Werewolf. Lovely, lovely. Oh, we can go in. Oh, there's a water feature. You know how I love a fountain or a water feature? So, they have this area down here where you can learn all about soil and compost little boy with worms on his hand oh hello i don't know where this leads but oh well did not think there was a screen under here journey into soil but you didn't expect that on my channel today <gasps> and then the feature turns on Oh, and there's Dad. <laughs> One garden in, and we are in the Rosé Marquis. Ah, fantastic. And uh, the line is, you are one of the first people who 
having this rosé. So it's the 2022 rosé. I was meant to do the swilling and smelling. Just trying to get Oh, vlogging. Would you like to be say hello to my vlog? Hello. <laughs> so that was the rose tent, and now we are at the fine cider tent. We're going straight in. Quite a boozy start to the day. Not complaining. Hello, go, Dad. Right. Are you going to do the special cider made from which, which apples? It's Raven. 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 Lovely. Raven. <laughs> so not traditional tannic cider. Oh, roots. we're doing all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just light. It's nice. Oh. Uh, you'd, you'd like it as well. Go on then. Is this for me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Guys, you know how much I love a water feature? Oh my God. It's just all the water features. It's just so many water features. It's a forest of water features. And I freaking love it. Look at it, it makes such nice sound. I'll just shut up so you can hear it. Oh yes. I like to think that greenhouses have suddenly got trendy and I'm not just suddenly really old, but I really like this greenhouse. I like the top of it. Am I just getting old? Comment below. It's trendy now, isn't it, surely? Or is that what people tell themselves when they're getting old and they tell themselves it's trendy? I'm just looking for the loos, but I've found myself in like a shopping zone. I know this is a bit weird, but I think this is what you watch for. I'm in a port -a -loo. How nice is that port -a -loo? Spacious, plenty of amenities. A lock, no gap. Yeah, I'm not going to film myself having a wee. So that's my only fans. Uh, but yeah, top notch loops. And I felt that was good content to share. I don't know why it was good content. I'm going to discreetly show you how nice it is out here if there's no one out there. Look at that. Sorry. never been more impressed with anything in my life than I have in those toilets. I just want to show you my bag. This bag, brilliant angle there. Um, I thought years and years and years ago, and it's just been in my wardrobe, and I thought, oh, I'll never wear that again. And it's come back into fashion, hasn't it? This little, little shape. And um, so the people are just vlogging in public as people are walking about me. I'm really happy with it. And I'm sharing it. Try and get Dad to take a little picture of me. Will we get it? We'll see. Oh, we nailed it. I know you didn't have a good framing, but let's have a look at this. Oh, Dad. See? You come, you come with a professional, you get what you want. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I don't know who's in charge here. I'm trying to see if we can get in the garden to take a nice picture. In the official mind garden. <laughs> yeah, ready, steady, three. I think this is the naughtiest I've ever been at Chelsea Flower Show. <laughs> I've never been, you know. Oh, well, you've been naughty at Chelsea Flower Show now. I'll it's leave all your links Obama below. <laughs> this is Sophie T. Art. Hello, I'll leave your my links darling. Below. And Lauren's links below. Right. This is uh, Brett Photographer at work. And Lou in the RNLI garden doing uh, dress flicks. Oh, performing for the camera. Performing. So we've just come down this area and now we're kind of looking at like garden shopping, like big garden shopping. I mean that's that's not an impulse purchase, is it? A giant marble face. So this is the first spring Chelsea Flower Show that I've been to post-pandemic. The last one they had last year was in autumn because at this time last year I think that there were still restrictions or some obviously it was 
COVID related, they couldn't do it. Um, and they did the best they could last year, but this feels like it's back. Like there's a really, really good atmosphere. I don't know if that's coming through because it's quite, like it's very sedate and relaxed, but it's a very like happy atmosphere. It's just really nice. This is my kind of thing. This is my perfect day because it's like a happy atmosphere, but it's not too crowded. It's not too intense. It's just very like, <laughs> hello, hello, <laughs> champagne, little flower. Is dad coming? Is dad coming? No. It's talking to the marble face man. Yeah, it's lovely. Although we are running over, it's 12.24. Um, so I'm not going to be able to get Darcy from school, so I've just rang Esther. She's going to pick her up for me. So Esther, if you're watching, thank you. This is Lydia Miller, not related to Cara Miller. No. I'm giving her like a small ad just because I'm passionate about it. She has a beautiful clothing line that also does plus size. So if you are plus size, is this one of the pieces? No, do you know what? I wanted to wear my. my... I hate it. This thing's yeah. horrible. <laughs> Is it Karen Millen? No, 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 this one isn't. But, it's, but I wanted to do wear my really? Karen Millen dress today that with the notch neck, the white linen one, but it's too long. And because it was going to rain, I, I thought I don't want a no, soggy white, white linen dress. No one wants soggy white in no, the rain. No, no, they don't. Then it becomes you, you a different speak about kind it so well. So I'm oh, literally no, like. Well, I, you make nice clothes and you make them that fit me. That's all I want is clothes that fit me. <laughs> oh, well, we were just talking about it and I was saying that. I feel like people don't know and that's what I mean when I say that you're so good at like eloquently oh, speaking about it because I feel like I'm going to say the wrong thing or something like that but people always message me I on the day of Nord. if you're not in that, it's hard to talk about something that you're not. Well, yeah. I, I think, know what yeah. you mean. Well, yeah, I'm... it's harder because you don't want to get it wrong. No, and I wouldn't. And you like don't my... want to cause offence. Yeah, and... absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the thing. And so I just. Yeah, okay, I'll just give you this brolly a second because my my arm's about to fall off and I can <laughs> oh, see a little tumpty here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's but deep. no, I, I, that's the thing that I think me, people don't realise is that when we design the collections, a lot of especially like the main pieces come yes. in sizes. You just have to click in the plus size yes, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes in petite and in in plus size as well. I should just say. This isn't an actual ad. No, no. Like, we haven't booked this. No. I don't work with Lydia. None of that. I just am a customer. But you should work happy. with Karen Millen on the plus size side of things. Set me up, baby. Oh, yeah, no, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> How clever is that? It's like an outside sofa. Sorry, Dad. Um, it's a, I think, probably copper. An outside sofa. I love that. So I didn't see this to begin with because I was so focused on the sofa over there. Pearl would love this, so it's a person, and then behind, sorry what, how stunning is that? That is gorgeous, there's another one over there with white crystals on it that my dad's taking a picture of, he's going to have a good album of pictures, look at that, hang on dad, sorry, I'm just going to come around here, how lovely is that? If you're interested in anything from this garden, it's Stephen Myber. I hope I pronounced that right. Lovely greenhouse, that one. Lovely, also lovely over there, but I like this big boy. It's a nice one. So this is Adrian Gray stone balancing. It makes me a little bit edgy to know that those are just balanced. I thought they would have poles through them, but dad assures me. Oh, that's going for a chat. So this is Adrian Gray, the stone balancer, and he's going to show us exactly how. Shall I come this way so that I get your background and it's uh, it? profesh for you? Oh. I'm running, I'm running. I'm Annika Rice. It's Challenge Annika. Does anyone remember that reference? Okay, here we go. So they really are just, they're not just glued. This is incredible. <laughs> Dad over there. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to. I don't want to, to distract him. He's feeling it.
<gasps> that's incredible wow thank you so much for showing us that that's so clever thank you so we've come to the inside uh, area now to look at all the indoor flowers and I'm particularly looking to find the Deborah James rose I want to show you all that um, so yeah let's just go to the rose area rose varieties and types 162 we'll go and see if we can find it all oh, in someone's picture oh. apologies for what's happening to the fringe area here I've splinged you know when your fringe splits a split a split fringe a splinge there's just nothing I can do about it so we're just gonna just gonna live for it oh yes yes so this is the Dame Deborah James Rose, named in honour of Deborah. And there she is, Bal Babe Fund, and that's it. How beautiful is that? Look at that one there, it's gorgeous. My camera's not really doing it justice. I'm going to put a link to the Bal Babe Fund if you would like to find out more or to donate. Um, and I'll write a little bit about it. So that is the rose just behind me and I just heard one of the representatives say how much money that she's actually already raised just through the rose um, for the Balbate Fund. I won't say it in case it's not public knowledge but it's a lot and of course she's already raised over six million. You're okay, I'm, I'm going this way. <laughs> um, she's already raised over six million um, on her Just Giving page. I'll link that below for you but absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'll say no more but in my heart Ooh, I've just found a very vintage fan whoa that wasn't so <laughs> We, a, a minute ago I was like, this, we need to redo, we need to redo. I'm so, oh, we've got a height difference here, haven't we? Here we go. Tell me about your book that's out. Oh my God, on the spot. On yeah, because I love it. You know what? Because of Brexit, it's not in the UK at the moment. In that case, cut, cut. <laughs> Dad's, I'm not joking, doing his rap. He wants to, he's got a name for his rap name, I won't spoil it. Oh, Catherine did spoil it, yeah. Recovery giving back, no heart attack, no stolen time, no emotional crime, no loneliness, no loneliness, no same every day, no other people's ways. Wow! <laughs> Just casually have that on your phone, cash, cash. Stormzy, Stormzy better watch out. Yeah. I, I wrote that That's during, so I wrote that during Harry and uh, Meghan's wedding. Oh, I was watching I was expecting. you're just a gift. No, no pressure. I find you and I'm slightly terrified. I Here is the fabulous Louise who wanted to swish her dress on the camera with a man looking in the background while Louise is going swishy, swishy. Thank Lovely. You. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I've had my moment with that. Yes, I think you've had your moment in the, uh, I was going to say in the sun, but it's in, a bit. In the drizzle. Yes, you want to do another one there? I might do a swishy. All right, all right, go on then. Big swish. Oh, I say, that is stunningly swishy. That's fabulous. Just a natural. <laughs> so we are heading out now, but I just wanted to show you these beautiful buildings. How stunning is that there? I love all the old, I like all the little oldie details, like that lamp above the door, just little things like that just make me really happy. My hair is not holding up well. Uh, it's rumoured that the Queen is coming, so they're asking everybody to head out by three. Uh, I think it's about half two. Uh, I think we're gonna go and get some food and then head back and go and see my girl. Popped into prep and at first I thought, pasta, pasta, salad, surely no competition, but I didn't see that they have 
the macaroni cheese, I think that's what we're gonna go for. And maybe a little fruity cup or something. From uh, the reflection over there, I really like to get home and like take all my clothes off. <laughs> Graphic, uh, and I'm not wearing a bra, and I feel so like cozy for it. I just thought it'd be fine. I just won't film like below like the navel, <laughs> and then you won't see my boobs. <laughs> um, I've got Darcy with me. I picked her up from Esther's. Liam is out for dinner with Pearlie and his parents, so I think I might order in because I've gone a bit like from the day. Um, and I've got quite a bit of stuff to do this evening as well, so I think we might order in maybe pizza, I'm not sure. And uh, once she's done her prep and had a shower, we're going to have a little bit of Darcy and Mummy time, watch a bit of telly, that kind of thing. I did order in, in the end. Yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, have pizza nights. Woo! Is that the cool thing to do like this? Not for me. Other no. girls like doing that, but I don't. What's the cool thing to do? For me? Yeah. Hands on hips. Sassy babe. So we're going to have a bit of girl time. Girl time, girl time. Are you washing your hair tonight or are you doing it in the morning? Um, I thought I might do it after top part. Alright. Good. He's so cute. Orbit. Look at that baby. Look at that little baby. It's fast asleep. Um, Liam is still out to dinner with his parents and Pearly, but when she gets in, I think she'll be going straight to bed because it's getting late. Yeah. And you'll be off to bed soon as well, won't you? Yeah, we might have to sort Pearly's sheets out in my room. Yes, we're having, <coughs> excuse the coughing there. Um, Darcy was saying that doing the bed. So Darcy and Pearl are sharing a bedroom. Bedroom. My bedroom. <laughs> Your bedroom. For a while whilst Liam's dad stays. It's kind I just realised I'd forgotten to do the bed. But uh, that's never ending. But at least we get to share a room because I think in the future we might. Yeah, Darcy wants to share a room. You want to go into Pearl's room, don't yeah, you, and get two beds? Tiny bit bigger. Yeah. But and she's been asking to do this for about a year. Originally, when you started asking, I was like, "You won't want to. You will get bored of it. You'll want your own space." <laughs> but you've not, you've not stopped asking, have you? No. And I know that if I need to go in my own space, I can. You can. Yeah. You heard it here first. Right. I can feel my eyes getting heavy and my brain's gone to slush, so... I can tell because we're going... <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Also, I thought I might input the footage and start editing it uh, now to get it up for tomorrow. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I've really enjoyed it. I've had a lovely day. All the better for ending with you mm. and having some pizza. And I will see you, I think, this week for another vlog. I say this, but you never know. Uh, leave a comment, a friendly comment, and I'll get back to you. And see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.